Yeah, we, we found in Red State, which I'm glad to hear that some of you guys are participating in. I hope we haven't abandoned any of you yet. Um, oh. Anybody abandoned Red State, by the way, to be a Ron Paul supporter. Uh, <laughs> It would be a crazy one, Paul Spurge, but not so anymore. But we found a red state at a bar in Arlington uh, when uh, a small group of folks that had been watching uh, the left organize very effectively at the Daily Coast and other places um, decided that there ought to be some outlet on the right that did something similar, that allowed community <coughs> to organize itself and bring some measure of hmm, sort of corporate or aggregate action to bear uh, on issues, particularly raising money for candidates, which we saw as a, as a real success in the lab, um, and, and try to influence our party, uh, primarily the Republican Party, obviously, uh, but didn't do it from a partisan perspective, did it from a more of an ideological perspective. Uh, what we found very quickly is frankly something that we've observed since, which is that the right has done really, really effective work online in terms of shaping opinion. Most of the energy, most of the money, most of the organizations, the institutions, outlets, you name it, have been focused on opinion driving. And if you think about it, even thinking about the so-called sort of early political internet, whether it's National Review, the Drudge Report, uh, some of these legacy institutions, Free Republic, Newsmax, uh, things that today look old. The right has been really good at driving those opinion stories, driving the way that, that politics is covered, and they have been woefully inadequate in terms of organizing people in big action. But we found that, you know, in small cases and in event-driven politics, you know, the right could be really effective at rallying people to deliver a punch. Uh, whether it was to the left or the media or, you know, whomever. I think, you know, Dan Rather's experience I think was a good one, where you didn't have an organized community, you didn't have a lot of political infrastructure. And they functionally uh, took CBS, the media, a huge part of the Progressive Coalition, and the Kerry campaign completely off message for at least a month and a half. I mean, that's pretty extraordinary in, in the waning days of an election. Uh, in the terms of the amount of energy they were able to, you know, rally. But we've not shown any evidence of being able to sustain anything. Uh, but so now you have, you know, the right looking at the prospect of being truly out of power for the first time in, you know, 14 years, uh, if we lose the White House in November. And so now you see a lot of folks studying the left a little more, I think, intently and deciding how do we be activists on the left instead of just trying to find them. 